Naxos is a beautiful island with a variety of activities to enjoy, from gorgeous beaches to traditional living in the hill and mountain villages. We've got lots more detailed information on our Things to Do page at SantoriniDave.com. Let's have a look at some of our favorites. Naxos is renowned for its long sandy beaches with shallow turquoise water, and Placa is the best of them all. Placa Beach is the longest uninterrupted beach on the island and features soft golden sand and excellent swimming. The north end of the beach has the bulk of Placa's tavernas, beach clubs, and hotels, while the south end has fewer amenities and a more tranquil atmosphere. Naxos's most recognizable landmark is the Portara, the oversized marble gate of the never-completed Apollo Temple. The temple ruins sit near Naxos's ferry port on the islet Palatia, which is connected to Naxos town by a raised footpath and is the best place for watching the sunset on the island. The area is open 24 hours a day and is free to visit. Dating at least to the 6th century AD, the Church of Panagia Drosiani is the oldest and most important church in Naxos and among the oldest in the Balkans. This small stone church features a cross-shaped layout with a large dome featuring two depictions of Jesus Christ Pantokratoras, while the altars and walls are filled with original frescoes of the Virgin Mary, St. George, and more. The frescoes on the walls are the originals and were buried under two layers of newer frescoes that have since been removed to museums. A few cave-style chapels branch off the main room where monks and nuns secretly taught local children Greek language and Orthodox religion during the Ottoman rule. Family-friendly Ayos Yorios Beach is a lively beach with golden white sand and shallow calm water that is perfect for children. This busy beach is lined with casual restaurants, beach clubs and shops, plus a water sports center at the south end. The closest beach to Naxos town Ayos Yorios is convenient to most of the island's best hotels on foot or a short bus ride away. The Naxos Ferry Port sits at the northwest side of Naxos town, near the footpath to the Apollo Temple. The bustling port brims with casual tavernas, cocktail bars, souvenir shops, and boutiques. In the mornings, you'll find local fishermen hauling fresh catch and strings of octopus drying in the sun. In the evenings, this is one of the best spots to catch the sunset, especially from one of the balcony restaurants or rooftop bars. Late at night, this is the nightlife hub of the island, with a handful of bars and dance clubs open until the wee hours. Halki is the most charming of Naxos's mountain villages. If you only have time to explore one village, make it Halki. This is the former capital of the island and is filled with rich history, neoclassical architecture, Byzantine churches, Venetian towers, and a colorful maze of lanes. The local spirit, Kitron, is made here in the Valindra distillery, which has been operating since 1896. The tours there are free and include samples. The pedestrian lanes of Halki are filled with workshops and handicraft boutiques, traditional textiles, local produce and products. This village offers a handful of delicious restaurants, cafes, bakeries, and bars. The largest and densest of Greece's eight cedar forests, gorgeous Alikos spans 800 square meters, filled with several species of cedar, heather, wildflowers, and more. Four small sandy beaches circle around its rocky coastline. Standing out in this otherwise natural area are the ruins of a never-finished hotel, now filled with vibrant graffiti murals, free to enter any time and worth a visit on their own. Though Naxos and Paros are geographically close together, they each have a very distinct feel, making a day trip to Paros highly worth your while. Paros has two main villages, Parikia, the capital with a bustling port, and Nausa, a cosmopolitan village with fine dining, stylish boutiques, and a winery. Like Naxos, Paros is surrounded by excellent beaches. But the beaches on Paros are unusual, from the strange rocks of Colibitris to the healing mud beach Kalogiros. 
Paros Park covers 800 acres in the north with hiking trails, a beach, lighthouse, and an open air cinema. Standard ferries run between Naxos Town and Parikia ports about eight times a day and take about 40 minutes. Many of the inland villages of Naxos are connected by centuries-worn pathways of varying degrees of difficulty. One of the most pleasant tracks is on hiking trail number four, a loop path connecting the villages of Moni and Halki, winding through olive groves and vineyards, and passing by several of Naxos's 200 Byzantine churches along the way. Our suggestion is to begin and end at Moni. The whole loop is well marked with signs, combines dirt paths, stony trails, and cobblestone paved streets, and takes a little over two hours. Mount Zas is Naxos's best known hike, climbing to the 1,000 meter summit of the tallest mountain in the Kiklades. A cave on the northwest face of the mountain, Zas Cave, is the childhood home of Zeus, hidden away from his father Kronos, who had previously eaten his five siblings. There are two popular routes to reach the peak. Go early to avoid the heat, bring plenty of water, and bring a flashlight to check out the cave. Dating back to 1207 and located in Naxos town, the castle of Naxos is a medieval fortification built by Venetian conquerors. The castle was built over the ruins of an ancient Acropolis, already badly damaged by pirates. The steps leading up to the castle are narrow with high stone walls on both sides. Surrounding the castle are the excellent Archaeological Museum of Naxos and numerous Catholic churches, monasteries, schools, and mansions used over the centuries by descendants of the Venetians. The Temple of Demeter dates back to about 530 BC, though the site itself was used for religious ceremonies as far back as a thousand years before. Dedicated to Demeter, goddess of agriculture, the temple site was built in the greenest, most fruitful part of the island and built from high quality white Noxian marble in an early example of the Ionic style. Naxos is the agricultural heart of the Kiklades, the only island in the archipelago that isn't a barren desert. The food grown here supplies almost all of the fine dining restaurants of nearby Santorini, Mykonos, and Paros. Local culinary traditions here are strong, with ingredients as varied as the landscape. Many of the island's best restaurants are in Naxos town, though there are excellent restaurants spread out all over the island. We've also got lots of great cooking classes listed in the tours section on our Things to Do in Naxos page. Like all Kikladic islands, Naxos is subject to the Meltemi, a strong northern wind, but Naxos is the best spot in Greece for windsurfing and kitesurfing. The best beaches for kitesurfing and windsurfing are north-facing Mikrivigla, Ayos Yorios, Glifada, and Laguna beaches, all with water sports centers with rental equipment and many offering lessons. Naxos is best known for its sandy beaches, but what makes the island unique among others in the Kiklades is its fertile yet mountainous interior dotted with villages steeped in tradition. In the mountain villages, many locals create handicrafts in artisanal workshops, prepare cheeses and marmalades from family recipes, harvest olives and grapes by hand, or herd flocks of sheep and goats through rugged terrain. There are many villages with rich histories and cultures to explore. If you have the time, renting a car and meandering the winding roads between villages, or taking a tour that brings you between them, is a great way to experience the landscape and authentic Naxos traditions. Many of Greece's most famous sculptures were carved out of marble, quarried from the central mountains between the villages Kinidaros and Malanis. There are a few active quarries in Naxos, which are large and visible from the road when driving past, but it's best to appreciate its qualities up close on a guided tour we link to on our Things to Do page. The old market in Naxos town is a jumble of narrow cobblestone paths and stairways passing through archways and little tunnels all around the Naxos castle. It's a pleasure to get lost in this area, filled with boutiques, 
local food shops, galleries, tavernas, and bars. Check out our Noxos travel guide for more detailed information, including where to stay, what to do, the best hotels, restaurants, beaches, and lots of useful maps. We've also got other great travel guides and content for popular destinations around Greece and the world at SantoriniDave.com. Thanks for watching.